Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm the chief here in Borinquen Handmade and in today's video I will be showing you how I make my facial bars. I'm going to be making 11 pounds of facial bar today and I'm going to be making two different types of it with the same base but different additives. So as always we're going to start off by pouring our lye water solution into our oils. And now we're going to bring it to a light trace. Light trace achieved. Now we're going to flip this batch. I'm going to measure out 5.5 pounds of oil. Not all of them are going to fit in here. So whatever's left, I'm going to pour it in in my other one. Uno punto siete. Now we're going to be pouring in the additive I'm going to use for this one, which is going to be turmeric. Be careful when measuring out your turmeric because, because it can stain the skin. So don't go too crazy with pouring in turmeric. So turmeric, I'm going to use a, a very soft fragrance oil. And now I'm going to mix this guy up. This is a very simple soap. My base oils are different though. My base oils are different because with my normal soap bars, I've been experimenting with what kind of combination I like for facial oils, for facial soaps. And this is the one I've liked the most so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put the additive on my other, other two. They're pretty hard already. I'm hoping they can still be worked with. I just need to pour them in the mold and everything will be fine. So for these two, I'm going to be using activated charcoal. Ooh, this one's extremely hard already. Let's do the small one, which is gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so I got the sh activated charcoal mixed in as much as I could. Now I'm going to go in again with, with my spatula and try to get those corners that might have stayed unblended. Now that everything is blended, we're going to pour them into our molds. Or try to. Here we go. So we're going to start off with the charcoal one, which is one, the thickest of all of them. We're going to try to stay inside the mold. So I've noticed that in all my soaping videos, I never actually talk about myself because I'm so focused on making the soap look right and not having any problems with it that I actually don't even think about talking about myself. So if you guys haven't seen my posts on YouTube, my reading posts on YouTube, the ones I put on for the community, I did mention that I studied art when I was in high school and middle school. I was in a, I was in a, how do you, a specialized art school. So in, in the, my school, you could either be accepted by dancing, theater, and later on they added, they added music to the curriculum. So I went in as an artsy specialized student, however you call it. Um, and I was kind of forced into going to that school because the school I wanted to go to was, was one specialized in sports because I was really into volleyball at that time. My mom kind of forced me to go into and I tried to butcher my audition so much because to, go, to get in you had to take an exam, a written exam, to see if you were, I don't know, smart enough to be in that school. And then you had to take a specialized audition based on what you were going in as. So I had to take like a, a, an arts audition. I had to 
draw something from my mind and draw something that they put on the table for us. So I tried my best to butcher it. I still got picked. I didn't, I really didn't want to get picked, but I guess it, it, um, it was for the best because I learned a lot in that school. I was already kind of good at artsy stuff, but I never actually liked the idea of someone telling me what to draw. I liked drawing um, on my own free time, whenever I wanted to. I didn't like drawing under pressure. So I still got in, even though I tried my hardest not to get in. I didn't even try to ace that um, written exam. I, pers I purposely tried to get the answers wrong, but Little Miss Me still got in to my to my excitement so imagine like a, i don't know i was like 12 i don't even know how old i was in a school that she didn't really want to go to because all her elementary school school friends were going to that sports school so i was not happy at all so i, I got stuck there for from sixth grade to 12th grade because high school for uh, sixth grade no from seventh grade to 12th grade, I was stuck in there. And before that, my mom had already put me in, in art classes. So since sixth grade, I was taking art. And after that, when I got into high school, I went into an, a drawing elective. So basically, it's kind of like eight years of art, studying art. And I didn't like getting bad grades, so I always try to do my assignments on time and, you know, make them good enough for an A or a B. But I, like I said, I really didn't like the idea that I had to draw something that my professor wanted me to draw for a grade. So yeah, I wanted to have like art, my art liberty? I don't even know how, how to call it really. I forgot the word. But in the long run, I guess it helped a lot because I, even though I'm not pursuing a career in art, it has helped me a lot with my, with this little business I've been wanting to do. So there are a few pluses of being forced into being an art kid. And aside from art, I was always trying to be on boards because that's what I actually liked at that time. I was very into volleyball and uh, Taekwondo. Those were like my two main sporty favorite things. And I mean, it's not all bad. I mean, I hated it. I made really good friends though friends I still talk to and we still hang out once uh, once in a while I'm going to be making a, a, an art challenge with them for my next video and I have a few other friends that um these are new friends that they kind of like doing art with paper so I'm probably going to try to make a challenge with paper I don't know if you guys have any suggestions um, for the art ones we're still trying to figure out what we're gonna do yeah I'm regretting this this I'm just gonna make them little mounds. My plan for the next few videos, I'm going to do that art challenge with my friends and I plan on doing that other paper crafts challenge with my other newer friends. So I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. I always like how um, wet black soap looks like. It's like so mesmerizing to me. So I'm going to wait from 20 to 24 hours to cut this soap and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we're back the next day to cut up the soap. So let's start by unmolding the charcoal one. I always struggle when it comes to unmolding my soaps. I'm going 
going to be cutting these in smaller versions of what I usually cut my soaps in because I want them to be because I want them to be more comfortable when you're using them. So now I'm going to be cutting this through the middle to make a, a smaller, more comfortable holding bar. So another fun fact about me, I've turned this uh, soap making video into story time. It's not a fun fact, but it's something about myself that I would like to share with you guys is that I'm really into gaming. I don't have a lot of time for it, but I love playing video games, all types of video games. I'm not a one category type of girl. Right now, I'm very into um, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I've finished mostly all the routes, and I'm only in Claude's one. When that game launched, I had pre-purchased it. So when it launched, it took me about around almost two days or yeah, around two and a half days to finish two routes. I was that obsessed with the game. But at that time, I was just, I think I was just starting class. So I didn't have a lot to do. So I basically just played until I had work done to work to be done. So another type of game I like um, aside from Fire Emblem, are the horror games, like the jump scare scare ones. I'm currently playing only on my Switch because I don't have a computer, but there's a few games that I like that are PC that I really want to try, but I have not had the chance to because I don't have a computer yet. So once I get a computer, I'm sure I'll get more into computer gaming. The first game I wanted to try was League of Legends because I've heard so many things about it and I like that type of RPGs. So I'm going to be trying that one once I get my computer, which I don't know when it's gonna be, but it'll be at some point in my life. I've taken a liking to, liking to indie games. I was obsessed with Stardew Valley for a long time. And although Stardew Valley, like it's, it's been out there for a while, I had recently heard of it because of a YouTuber I follow that get, plays indie games. So I heard about it through his channel and I decided to try it out after investigating and looking for reviews and checking how the game actually worked because I was not gonna be spending money on something I did not like or was not gonna enjoy. So I was obsessed with that one and I haven't finished it yet because it's a really in-depth game. There's like a lot of side stories to it to unlock and such. So I haven't really finished it, and I've put in a couple of, maybe like a hundred hours, maybe. I also got um, Zelda's Link's Awakening, the remastered version. And I finished that game in like two days. It's not that it was, it was, I found it 
really easy compared to other Zelda games. Maybe it's because I'm older now and it's a lot easier for me to, I don't know, understand hints and such. But yeah, I found it extremely easy. So before I started making soap, I wanted to start a YouTube account, a gaming YouTube account, <laughs> but all the all the good software was really expensive for me at that time, and it still is. But now I can just buy things slowly when I get the money and then I can start streaming games. My, mo my main focus is still gonna be this channel, but in my free time when I have nothing to do, I, uh, it, it'd be nice to de-stress by playing games. So yeah, that's something I wanted to share with you guys. I have this, the my gamer side, and I have my, they're going to be hand small and, you know, be able to grip it nicely. There's a few air bubbles because the, the batter traced too quickly. But yeah, these will be my, my facial soap bar sizes. Every time I do a facial soap, I'm going to be making the, them this size. So yeah, these babies are going to be um, up in my website probably around mid-December because I want to leave this to cure as much as possible because since it's, a, since it's a smaller bar than what I usually sell, I want them to last longer than these small bars usually do. If you haven't checked my Patreon account, I suggest you go check it out. Most of the earnings I make there will go into feeding and trap nurturing, releasing the neighborhood cats. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. And as always, be kind to one another and let's help each other out.